Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have been good and everything's going on well. Well, today we're preparing a pasta casserole. I've never seen it done anywhere before, so this recipe is all mine. Um, so we have already cooked pasta. I've seasoned it with some all-purpose seasoning and one of those Italian type seasonings. We have already cooked ground beef. You can see, some people call it minced meat. We have some turkey bacon. You can use any type of bacon you want. We have some tomato sauce. I cooked it already. So it's um, tomatoes and onions and some peppers. And I just cooked it so it's not raw. I don't like that raw tasting tomatoes. We have some shredded carrots right there. And we have cheese. Okay, so we have the bacon dishes. I'm gonna line them with some parchment paper. And here we go. So I'm really going to call this an as you like it pasta casserole because you can pretty much put any ingredients that you like. I've just brought together some ingredients that I like. I like ground beef, I like turkey bacon, I like tomato sauce, I like carrots, and of course cheese is a staple. You have to put cheese. You can't do it with cheese. So you can pretty much put anything you like, any meats that you like, and any veggies that you like, but you must put cheese, yeah? So we're going to start now. As you can see, I've lined the oven dishes or the casserole dishes with parchment paper. There's one and there's two. It's a big family, so I have to use two. Obviously, you don't have to make this small to make them up the pasta. Just pretty much dumping in here. No waste, you can't escape. <laughs> and here as well. So what we're trying to do is really sort of create layers, right? So we have the bottom as um, oh, I have to move this a little bit. This just makes it easier so um, stuff don't stick to the bottom as the parchment paper. You can just line it. You can just um, maybe spray it with oil or something, but I'd rather just have this. It makes my life a lot easier. So like I said, the pasta is already seasoned with some salt or purple seasoning and some of one of those Italian type seasoning, which is why you see the little, little. All right. So what do we put next? It's really up to you. You can put whatever you want. So I'm just going to put some of the tomato paste. Like we said, it's an as you like it casserole. So it's really, you really just do it how you like it, to be honest. Smells so good. Okay, now we can go with some of the ground beef. I think I should have, I should have cooked more ground beef, but well, that's okay. So I think we should put some cheese in now because the cheese acts as a, a binding agent really. So this is white cheddar and yellow cheddar cheese. You can use whatever cheese you like.
My kids like a lot of cheese, so cheese. So we'll go again with the pasta. Another layer. So it's getting full already. You just have to it appears we might not use up all the pasta. Let's see how it goes. Oops. I almost keep falling off. So I'm trying to be fast. Okay, this is filling up quite fast, so we have to put all the other ingredients. Okay, so let's go with the tuna just again. I haven't forgotten the carrots, don't worry. The tomatoes is going to give you some sort of moisture and, and juice. more in the pot so I'm going to just add that so now we're going to add the carrots so we've got our nutrition going just not eating pasta and cheese we have some veggies at least the tomatoes and peppers and onions we have our meats so this is like, this meal is quite balanced, really. And that's the sign that the oven has finished preheating. So I preheated the oven to 350 degrees. So now I'm going to add the bacon. I'm using turkey bacon. I mean, you can use whatever bacon you want. And spread it so everyone gets a piece of everything like every bite you take would have almost everything in it. and then let's just use up the leftover ground beef I'll just do this to make it a lot easier Go for more cheese. Seal it up with cheese. Seal it up with cheese. You already look so good. <laughs> it's going to taste really, really good. So we pretty much used up a whole pack of cheese for this. That's not bad. These babies are ready to go in the oven. So 
going in the oven. And I get the other one. In it goes as well. I'm going to bake for 20 minutes or until everything is melted and nice. Yeah. So close that. Ooh, okay, so it's ready. Looks good. Yum yum. Alright. Get them out. And the other one comes out as well. So we're going to leave them to cool for a while before we actually um, dig in. Yeah? This looks so good. I'm sure it's gonna taste as good as it looks, if not better. <laughs> Yum. Okay, so our stuff is out of the oven. We allowed it to cool a little bit for like five minutes. So I'm gonna cut it up so we'll see what it looks like. Oh, that's gooey goodness. Can you feel it? Can you see it? Wow. Looks so good. Can you see how good it looks? This is so yummy. I think it could have done with a little bit more cheese and maybe a bit more tomato sauce, but it looks really, really, really good. That's the part we cut off. Oh, gosh, I love it. <laughs> uh, as you like it, pasta casserole looks and tastes really, really good. I had a little bite. In it, we have some cheese, pasta, tomato sauce turkey bacon, ground beef, and carrots. You can pretty much put anything you want in them. So, I hope you prepare it. If you do, let me know how it turns out and let me know how it tastes, okay? All right, take care, love you guys. Bye. <laughs> okay, so that's it really. Uh, as you like it, pasta casserole is all done and it tastes So here we have some cheese, pasta, mincemeat or ground beef, um, some carrots, some tomato paste. You can pretty much put anything you want in them. So I hope you prepare it. If you do, let me know how it turns out and let me know how it tastes, okay? All right. Take care. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>